If you love me, keep my commandments, John 14, 15. This is a Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. As always, we want to leave a nightlight on, for that nightlight is, as I read earlier out of John 14, 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. Your affection determines your direction. At first glance, this verse might seem to be a conditional statement as if Jesus is saying, if you want to prove you love me, then obey my commands. But that's not the heart of Christ's message here. Instead, Jesus is revealing a profound truth. Our affections guide our actions. Consider how love naturally influences our behavior. When we deeply care for someone, we instinctively seek to please them, to honor their wishes, to align our lives with what brings them joy. It's not about earning their love, but about expressing our own love to them. Jesus isn't demanding obedience as a prerequisite for love. Rather, he's describing the natural outcome of a heart filled with love for him. When we truly love Christ, our actions will naturally align with his will. Our obedience becomes a joyful response to his love, not a burdensome attempt to earn it. Think about it this way. A young child doesn't obey their parents to make them love the child more. Instead, a child who feels deeply loved and secure is more likely to trust and follow their parents' guidance. The love comes first, the obedience follows. Similarly, we don't obey our way into loving God. We love our way into obeying Him. Our actions spring from the wellspring of the love in our hearts. This understanding transforms how we approach God's commandments. They're not a checklist to prove our devotion, but an opportunity to express it. Each act of obedience becomes a love letter to our Savior. The Apostle John would write later, For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. When we, when our heart is filled with the love of God, His commands don't feel burdensome. They become a natural expression of our affection. So today, let's not focus on trying to obey our way into God's love. Instead, let's meditate on His incredible love for us, and let's allow that love to fill our hearts to overflowing as we do, we'll find that our actions naturally align with His will, not out of duty, but out of a deep abiding affection. Affection determines direction. Where is your heart leading you today? Mighty Father God, I pray you'd help us to be ever so aware of your deep and wide and mighty love that you have for us. Help us, God, to be drawn to you with cords of kindness. Help us, Lord, to remember the mercy that is fresh every day that you grant to us and the grace that you give us. And help us to respond with affection and allow that affection to determine our direction. Allow that affection to determine our action. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great day.